Naima Fualau gets us underway. USA Eagles running right to left over the top of Williams, and it'll go over the sideline. It'll be a USA throw to the line out to get us started. Not a great start by GB there. You really need to be taking that. That simple skills from the kickoff. Maybe just a bit of nerves. It is a quarterfinal. Giving the ball straight to USA here. USA looking to end a four-game cup quarterfinal losing streak. Fualau. Oh, really good hands because the pass, pass to Esdale was awkward, but it did go forward. Did well just to hold on to it. Yeah, USA have had a lot of errors in the last couple of matches. They've made the most of any team with yeah. 10. And here's an easy one, just giving it straight away Damn back off. to GB. Probably a bit of nerves on both sides here, Rupert. They both just need to calm down and focus on their game plan. Well, it's so important, isn't it? You're looking at the 8th-ranked side against the 12th-ranked side, but only, only seven points. Can you continue? separate these two teams overall it is right, let's go. watertight yeah, razor yeah, sharp yeah, in terms of staying in the mark? top eight yeah. after yeah. seven yeah. events of course the top eight will play off for the title in madrid the bottom four will go through to the relegation playoff in madrid so there's just so much at stake in every game especially when you're in the high point section cup quarter final time at the end of tournaments but also GB are sitting in 12th and some vital points for them to bring them up off that bottom, bottom spot. That's not where you want to be. And USA are just touching on it as well. They're just two points ahead of Samoa who come up next. There's the points available. Maximum 20 once you're in this top eight graphic. And of course, maximum four if you miss out in the cup quarterfinals. So you get rewarded big time for making into the big show. Here's Harry Glover running into Esdale for... Great Britain. Morgan Williams to Alex Davis. Now Tom Emery leading try scorer for GB on the series this year. He's wrapped up by Fualau. Perry Baker working the counter attack. There's Austin Emmons. Now Ethan Waddleton to the skipper. Robbie Ferguson. Opposite captain Kayvon Williams going into the steal. Wins it. Leave the ball. See, Robbie Ferguson just fell on his back there, and USA capitalized on the poor position. You need to work your body it? around and get the ball back towards your own Stun. side. It's easier Stun said up. than done now, but you'll watch here, he falls on his back. That's not what you want to do. Now. You're like a flip turtle, and USA just pounce on that ball, and you're caught. So what, what are you as players told in that situation not to do? You need to fall with the momentum and get your body turned. Use your core to flip your head back towards your own team so they can come over alongside you and get that ball back and moving it. That's fine. Great insight from Ireland. The Olympian Greg O'Shea here. Expert comments in this cup quarter final as Kayvon Williams prepares to feed it. Just a little look over the shoulder there in the direction of the bench. Mike Friday looking on. Also, he's going to just stand up. Let's go. He's got the beanie on. Pretty cool inside uh, BC Place. Mark Friday, USA head coach. Come on, Joe. Sit. Not many that know more about this game than him. Vantage. And get it out to Offside. fool out of the USA. Still no score in this cup quarter final. Another decision offside this time. Now they are the second most penalized team at the tournament. They had 15 coming in GB, so discipline him, an issue for him. them. No. Yeah, you can't be giving away penalties in knockout rugby. I think they're giving away five per game at Vancouver Sevens. You can't just be turning over the ball five times at elite level, because this is going to happen. You're going to get put back into your zone. I'm sure Steve Tomasin has something to say about this. Yeah, out of San Diego State. Here's Naima Fualau out of Life West University that throws the line out. There is Thomason. Slightly high arm on him from Morgan Williams. They've got to be careful here, GB. They don't give away any more penalties, but they get the decision this time. How about Robbie Ferguson turning up? They want to go quickly. Alex Davis. Mark's back here. So often you see that you've got to go behind the mark precisely. Bit of a clunky start for us here in the first quarter final. Both teams just feeling it out. A couple of errors, a couple of penalties conceded. Hopefully we can get a flowing game here. You had a tight match in Perth as well, corresponding fixture last tournament, 17-10. USA won that. Yeah, what is it? The okay, USA okay. got their big guns back. Malachi is though, got any of attention there. The likes of Thomas and Baker, Williams, they got them out of the relegation zone. Into the top eight. Look, 
guys there, changing a contact lens. How difficult is that, Rupert? Do you wear contacts? No, I don't. I wear glasses. Good. I mean, I couldn't even understand wearing them, let alone changing them in the middle of a rugby game. <laughs> but at least there's no rain so to deal with. Pentagon. Bird's eye view. <laughs> the bird's a bit cold with the hood up. <laughs> Here come GB. All business, Glover. Half break from him. Good run. There's Alex Davis. Quick reload for Emery. Nice ball to Ferguson. Little double step there. Still going, Robbie Ferguson. Fua Lau now works the steal. And he wins it. Again, the same penalty from Robbie, Robbie Ferguson. He's just driving through. He's getting serious meters, which is incredible. But just needs to get that ball back. Cummings. Over to Esdale, who's been outstanding this weekend for Team USA. He might need Baker. Emmons is on the chase. No, Esdale swings it out to the corner. That's absolute crackerjack from Malachi Esdale to open the scoring in the cup quarterfinal. Very impressive from Malachi Esdale right there. Showing a clean pair of heels. Goes inside Harry Glover. Says, see you later to Waddleton. And then Austin Emmons, I thought he would have caught him. But it's actually a lot of intelligence to look back, see where the chasing defender is, move your line, move your direction, buy yourself a few metres and get the five-pointer. It's the big hug from Perry. And the USA fans in the house enjoyed that. There's plenty of them. They don't get the extra two from Thomason. So it remains 5 nothing, but that's his fourth try of the weekend. One of these players that Mike Friday's brought through the system, originally discovered at the Rugby Town Sevens. Eagles everywhere. Another penalty against GB. Holding on is the call. Morgan Williams this time. There's Cummings, goes quickly. Fool out, tries to step away from memory. Nama Fool out. Kayvon Williams. Good hands there from Esdale. He's had a couple of awkward balls to deal with. Here's Perry Baker. Now he can just back his pace. And he's too quick for Glover. <laughs> Perry Baker's come up with some big scores already this weekend. And there's another one in the cup quarter. That is gorgeous out of Perry Baker. He's gliding across the ground. He just makes it look so easy, and this is not easy. Gets a little stutter step and again straight up into top speed. Nobody can live with that pace. That's 273 career tries for... USA tries over the number 11. Perry Baker. Conversion of no good. The half, USA 10. No conversion again, so remains 10-0, but a good start. From the USA in the Cup quarterfinal, 10 0 over GB. Sounds as well. That restart hasn't gone the 10, so free kick USA right in the middle of a park. Can choose a scrum here. You that, choose to? Yeah, you probably would. A center field tap or a scrum. They seem to have gone for the scrum, pull them in, which will leave space for the likes of Perry Baker on the outside. That's what's coming up. Argentina up next, who've been. Near on unbeatable of late, they're up against Samoa. Argentina on a five game win streak against Samoa. New Zealand, Fiji, then on the other side. That's a, a game that used to be automatic cup finals more often than not. Crouch! Loads of great action. I love these quarter finals. Best two hours in rugby sevens, men or women's, absolutely Wait, brilliant. Ten, a tight game here between USA and GB. Just 10 0 they lead it. Fool out to Williams and the captain. Unusual to see him make an error like that. A fool out it so well there. Picked it up off the base as scrum half and noticed that Robbie Ferguson gave him space. He took it and then gave it out to Williams, who unfortunately spilled it. Opportunity yeah. wasted. Madison Hughes is on the field. There he is. He was commentating with us last year doing your job, Greg. 
He was actually very useful because he's an absolute genius. He's got an IQ of about 160. And when it came to the permutations down the stretch in pulls, he was like, yeah, I'll handle that, load it all out for us. Here you go. That's what's that's no what to way. say. Yeah, he's brilliant. You can do it all, this fella. Been at Stanford University, studying something. Wait six. Very difficult. GB, down by 10. Glover out the back to Colleen Barreto. Live wire. Scrum half from Scotland, but another penalty. Rocco Verdani's been a tough on GB in this game. Esdale swings it out to Williams, looking for their third try here. And they'll be tough to catch if they get over the line again here. Thomason back to Williams, buys himself a bit of time. There is Madison Hughes. Schrader. Perry Baker, got to be careful not to give him the sideline. Bounces away from Glover. Schrader's there to help him out. Madison Hughes again. Williams. Thomason. Cummings. With some pace as well. Alex Davis, though, good hit. Thomason again. Real quick reload that for the USA. Makes it so much harder for the, the Great Britain defence. Here's Perry Baker. Skips inside. Emery. When he does stuff like that, he's just so good to watch. Thought he might be slowing down in his dotage. Not so. Perry Baker still got loads to offer. He's box office, baby. I was talking to him during the week, and he told me his secret. It's peanut butter jelly sandwiches is what has got him to 37 years of age and still flying it. So that's what I've been missing. <laughs> that's it. That's all you need. A bit of PB and J. <laughs> well, PB. Even without the jelly. He's racking up tries in Vancouver. 15 nothing, making 17 with the extra two. Look at that. He's closing in on the great Kenyan. Collins and Jira just five behind him now. He might get that this weekend. That's very close. Dan Norton, 3 5 8 all time. I'm not sure that'll ever be caught. The uh, England and Great Britain 7 superstar. Hughes gets us back underway. Happy to go a little longer off the restart with this 17-0 lead. Tra trust their defence. Can't touch the ball. But another penalty the against Great Britain. Scrum. Scrum. Frustration. Big time for Alex Davis and GB. Yeah, you can see Davis looking up to the stars there. Kicking himself. The ill-discipline is what's going to kill this GB team. Yeah, it's been ways, consistent all now. weekend. Here's Maka Anufe, number 77. It's his 50 of Sevens World Series event out on the field. On the hooker. On the hooker, yeah. They must be GB Watch. fans, not happy with this. Bind! Hughes. Set! Feeds the scrum. And Lucas LeCamp has spotted some space on the short side, and he's going to eat it up. That's number four, and that might be the ball game. Lucas Lacan, deceptively quick. We had a defensive error there by GB. The scrum half got caught, trying to pin his opposite number, and Lucas Lacan saw the space on the blind side, and the GB hooker couldn't get out quick enough to stop it. Denim Dad pointing to the camera, he loves it. Yeah, he'll be in Los Angeles next week. If you... Looking for something to do next weekend, head down to Dignity Health Sports Park, where USA the USA Rugby will be hosting the HSBCLA Sevens. And in this kind of form, USA Eagles will be looking forward to it as well. 22-0 over Great Britain in a cup quarter-final. Glover. Eamons just can't get out of their own half in this second half, Great Britain. No matter what they do, penalties have absolutely killed them in this quarter-final. There's an error from Barreto as well, and that's been the story. Errors and penalties. Frustrating for GB. I can feel their pain. You can see the tactical change by USA. They're pinning them back. 
long drop-offs into the GB22 and then pressurizing them into the corner, pressurizing them into penalties and mistakes. Tactical masterclass. Yeah, the other thing about the USA is they're Let's making the most of their chances. They were 90% yeah. success mark, rate opposite opposition 22 coming into this game. And that's a really important stat in Rugby Sevens, isn't it? Offline, taking a chance. Oh, of course, they had 90% success rate in the red zone coming into this. And they have another Bounce. opportunity here, 90 seconds left on the clock. Bind. Argentina Six. Samoa coming up next. It looks like USA are going to play the winner of that in the semi-finals. Oh, knock on from GB. The GB face right there. Oh, my heart goes out to them. Just too many errors, too many penalties. Handing the ball back to the USA here. Hopefully we can see something good for the last minute. Off the set piece scrum here. Bind! Set! They come with the power at the scrum, but Lucas LeCamp puts the foot down once more, swings it over to Malachi Esdale, heading for the corner, stop, go, and he scores. Number two for the match. Malachi Esdale has five for the weekend. Lucas LeCamp take a bow, son, look at that pace. Harry Glover shot up in the middle. Lucas Akam saw the gap, pierced through it, and found his mate Esdale on the wing. A double for him and a great finish to his day's work. He's a super athlete, Malachi Esdale. That's probably the worst conversion we've seen in a weekend. But it won't matter because USA have been outstanding in this game, 27 0. That was your mate, Madison Hughes. He can do the mats. <laughs> you can do the match on that kick. So we're now at seconds here, but we will have a restart. Goes long again. Glover just lets that go over the sideline. There's no real need for Madison to force it with the kicks. 27 nil up the big donut for gb just calm it down also you're thinking at this stage it's just preservation of energy isn't it for the semi-finals tomorrow you want to get back to the hotel now and put the feet up exactly will homer who got a match winner of his own yesterday for great britain and the win over ireland Number one. Get out of your pillar. <laughs> emmons barretto can Great Britain finish with a flourish. The best they can hope for now is a fifth place playoff. Remember, there's no semi-finals in that section of the competition now, so you then look at seedings to play for seventh or fifth. Here's Will Homer, Ehrmans. Runs in a muck at Anufi. Vantage. Home at a glover. Rips it Offside. wide. Penalty though. Eight wide. There's a mismatch, yes. Rocco Verdeni, the referee in this game. No, he's been Pass great, the ref, in fairness to him. And I've also been very impressed with Austin Emmons. And they've only ever kept USA a clean sheet twice in a cup quarter final in their history. So they'll want to try and keep out GB here, because that would be something very positive to hang your hat on overnight ahead of the semi-finals tomorrow waddleton flicks it out to emmons but usa have it they put it off the park and they do inflict the bagel on great britain excellent performance from the usa eagles they're through to the final four in vancouver 27 nil over great britain Yeah, not a great night, not a great finish for GB. No points on the board, but we have to hand it to the USA. They were outstanding offensively and defensively.